Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this studio, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to assemble the Saris bicycle rack for your car. Now I purchased this off of Amazon for approximately $150. And I thought that was a very good deal because I've used other bicycle racks that go on cars and they're very cheaply made. And I can say from using this already, I'm pretty impressed with it. So when the package arrives at your house and you open it up and you take this device out of the package, this is pretty much how it's gonna look right away. You may have to pull out the clips and the cords on the side, but all the clips will be attached already. So really there is no assembly required except you have to position the arms so they fit your car. So let's quickly go through the manual. Now I'll show you some things you need to take in consideration and some warning signs prior to putting this on our car. So the manual is very straightforward. I believe there's only five steps, but it says for one bicycle, the max will be 35 pounds. And for two bicycles, the max will be 70 pounds. Now I believe there is like a speed limit as well. On other devices similar to this, it was right around 70 miles per hour. I don't think I'll be going any faster than that with these bikes on my car. So let's go to page two. And this is pretty much the assembly. You have to rotate these snaps and position the arms. And you wanna to try to get them at like a pretty much even horizontal position on the back of your vehicle. And just adjustments right here again. And turning it, I'll show you all this. It's a lot easier to show than to look at this manual for sure. Be aware of where to position the arms. You want them right above the bumper, not on your license plate. And then right here, it's saying you want it even as opposed to too high angled up or lower. And then number four is just showing the points where to place everything. Now on the clips, it will specifically say if it's side, up or down. And then right here for the warning, it's saying do not tie off the cord around the cord. Then for number five, it's saying clip the bicycle. And then for the vertical bar, go ahead and clip that as well, as opposed to the diagonal bar. And then watch out for your exhaust on the tires because it may burn the tires in some degree. And then also if you're putting this on a SUV, when you open up the door, do not open up the door with the bicycles on it. It will make you sad. And the rest will be in Spanish or French. This is very easy to use. So I'm gonna make sure the ends are tight by just going to the right and making sure these are on and they're not gonna slip off. So those should be good where they are. Now we're gonna adjust these ones right here and this middle one. So let's turn it to the left and position this. So it's gonna be able to rotate freely when it's not on these teeth right here. So if it's on the teeth, you're gonna to wanna to slide it in and off those teeth. So just like this, you can see it's on the teeth and then this little piece right here it is not on the teeth and that's where you can rotate it. So you just slide it, rotate it, and then slide it back. So I'm gonna keep it maybe in this position right here. That looks about good. I'll have to see if it fits on my car. Then to tighten it, go to the right, and then it's locked in. Now let's do the same thing for these two side arms. Slide it over to the position I can rotate them in, bring them up, slide them back, and they will be locked in. Now let's tighten it up. So that arm's tight. So let's loosen this one up, slide it to the rotate area, bring it up, and then slide it back over. And it is now locked in, let's tighten it. So this may be about right on my car. So these two arms will be on the top bumper and this one will be sitting above my trunk. And then I have three clips on each side. I have to go ahead and position it. So let's go over to my car now and place it on it. Okay, so here's my amazing Chevy Malibu 2011. So here is my two ends. Let's position these down just like this. And that is just about right. I need to raise these two arms. So I will do that after I have it positioned in. So it's gonna look like this on your car. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the top ones on. I'm gonna look at the clips and it will say upper right here. So I know it's the upper position. I'm gonna clip 
put this on right here. And then I'll go back to this side and I'll do the same thing. Find the upper clip, just put it on, and I may have to loosen it up. I'm just gonna press this in and just stretch it up a little bit. Boom. So it's on right now. So I'm just gonna rotate this to the left to loosen it up and bring this up. And that should be good, it's tighten it. Do the same thing for this arm right here. And that should be about even when I place my bike on. Okay, so this is looking good. You may have to adjust these two end pieces to fit your car. Same thing for the top. Just go ahead and do that. I kind of just guesstimated it and it worked out. Now let's look at the clips. This one says side. Let's put it on the side right here. And then I'm going to tighten this one up right away. Just like that. Perfect. And then the bottom one. Sometimes when I put the bottom one on, it won't clip right away. So I have to go and open up my trunk. So I'm going to put this one on last. And put the side one on over here. Now to tighten it up, you pretty much just take this and pull it forward. And it'll tighten up. You don't even have to press this in. That's only for loosening it up. So let's tighten this up. Perfect, that's nice and tight here. Now I still have the bottoms on, so I'm gonna go open up my trunk. And then I'm gonna slide this under. And tighten it up. Perfect, that's not gonna come off. Now I can see this little base piece right here it needs to be level on the ground here. All right, that should work. Let's put this clip on here. I'm gonna loosen this one up and put it on. Tighten it up, perfect. Now, make sure your trunk is closed. Otherwise, it's gonna pop up. All right, so it takes a little bit of effort to go ahead and get the trunk to close. I just lifted it up and slammed it down. That seemed to work. Sometimes the clips will come off when you do that. So go around to all the other clips and tighten them up now. And just make sure this is on super tight. So that's looking good there. The side's a little bit loose still. Perfect. So I'm going to do the same thing on here now. Everything is tight. Now I'm ready to put my bike on. So here is my mountain bike. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it at the end one here. Sometimes when it's a little bit close, I can hear it hit my car when I'm driving. So I'd like to put it on the end one if I'm just going solo. Now I'm going to lift it up and just put it on. It's very, very easy. These clips will go around the sides here and just clip down. Just tighten them up and make sure it's on tight here. Excellent. Do the same thing for the front one. And then I'm going to slide the bike over just a little bit and do the same thing with the vertical bar. Tighten this baby up, make sure it doesn't go around. Now you can go ahead and get some extra ropes and just tie off this tire so it doesn't flop around when you're driving. Then for all these straps, I typically just leave the straps and just let them dangle around when I'm driving. That doesn't seem to be an issue for me. Or you could always just cut them to make them a little bit shorter once you have it set up the way you want. So they're not so entirely long. So this is how you go ahead and set it up and assemble it. It's very easy to do. And I think this is well worth the money if you're gonna be biking a lot. So if this video did indeed help you guys out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Adventures.